Hey guys, what's up here and welcome to another FIFA 21 XBC video. It is Friday, it is 6pm and the one to watch Team 2 has been released and the new Rodriguez SBC. I think I might give this card actually a review. I haven't seen what his requirements are, but I'm going to go ahead and complete this SBC now because I can just see this guy getting so many informs. Of course, he's already had one inform uh, so far this season. I apologize for no face cam in this video. For some reason, I can't get the face cam to work uh, for today's or for this particular video. And uh, hopefully as well, the guaranteed team of the week pack will be out soon. So I'll do a video of me opening that. But Rodriguez, absolutely fantastic. Uh, uh, this card does look now. What is he going to require? Oh, that's 100% worth doing. I mean, you do have to put one team of the week in there, but this guy has been absolutely superb for Everton at the start of this season. As much as it kind of pains me to say that, to be quite honest, he's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think he's had like three or four goals already this season. Everton, of course, are flying in the Premier League. Um which of course is good for them and a massive game as well tomorrow which I'm very much looking forward to but in terms of an 82 rated squad this is going to be so easy to do like so easy like the market really hasn't like like the the, the fodder cards in terms of 82s 83s I mean even 84s and 85s haven't really gone up that much at all in general now I'm not going to go with this guy I might put Nian in there I don't uh, oh she could be a good super sub Jose Font I should really put into a, a, an SBC later down the road for like an icon SBC, like an 82 rated inform or whatever. Um, and then we'll just try and build like a Premier League squad or something like that. But this is 100% worth doing. Now, of course, listen, he lacks in pace. Um, another inform though, guys, and he goes up to an 86 and he won't be as a right winger. The inform that came out and packs that gold inform from like one or two weeks ago was as a right winger and he was useless because of the fact that he lacks in pace as a right winger. The good thing about this one is whilst, you know, 58 or 59 pace, whatever he's got, still isn't great for a camp. It's not the end of the world. And remember, if he goes up to an 86, that pace will go up by about three or four ratings and the rest of his cards absolutely superb. So I'm going to put like a catalyst onto him. He might go into my main team, uh, into the Fabinho. I'm not exactly too sure. I, I'm not exactly too sure i'll have to work out a few different things and just kind of see um how it goes but i'm certainly going to be reviewing him on the channel now i want to try and put in quite a few premier league players here because i think we have to have relatively high chemistry do i even want to put in an 83 here from the premier league i mean i do have an untradeable zaha um but i think it would make more sense to keep him forever he's needed for objectives i could put in an 84 which I'm going to do with Asbel Equator. Fred, although he's untradeable, I don't want to put him because, again, he could be useful for objectives. Hoiberg will go with... Um, don't fancy putting any of those three. Of course, Bakayoko now at Napoli. Romero, Henderson. We'll put Henderson and we'll put Matic. You know, we'll just kind of see how close we can get to that 82-rated team. And before we finish up this video, I will have a look as well at what objectives we've been given because... Um, I'll be interested to see what car we can uh, grind for. I'm guessing it's going to be Matuidi um, because that SBC still hasn't come around. I've got loads of goalkeepers here. I think I might struggle with the chemistry a little bit. Um, but the first thing is going to be getting that rating, which we're basically there. So if we go with like just any left midfielder, or I mean, if I was to go with Zaha, would that actually do us? It wouldn't even give us the rating. Okay, so I might go to a different league. I might try and build like a defense from. From League On, maybe? What, what kind of League On players have I got here? We've got a few League On players, haven't we? So I might go with like a, a, a League On left hand side. I think that'll be sound. But Nasser don't mind putting him because I don't think he goes for much and I'm never going to use him. Um, we'll go we'll put Andre in there as well. So if I was to go down this left hand side and go like a spicy little League On set, so that would do it. Okay. Of course, we don't really want to put Zaha here in, so we could go with Payet. If I was to put Andre in as well over, like, a Ruben Neves, would that help? Or maybe of like, an 84? That would take us down to an 81. What about an 80 over an 82? Okay, that wouldn't work. So I'm guessing we're pretty much... I mean, I'd like to take Matic up, maybe. Does Bernat go for actually that much? Hopefully he doesn't. I don't think he would do. Yeah, I'm kind of happy to send that off. So that's a team that we're going to send off. Or we're actually not going to, because I haven't got the racing yet. Um... I thought I had the racing then. That doesn't give it to us either. Would this give it to us? Yeah, that would. Okay, so I might need like another 82 or another 83 somewhere. Um, I'll see if I've got another 82 from League On. Which I have with this guy. And there we go. Done. That, that, that is fantastic fire for money in my personal opinion. Let me just make sure I'm happy to send all these cards off. 
um indeed i am there we go one to watch untradeable um james rodriguez absolutely fantastic i will have a review of him up a little bit later on tonight as well because we haven't been given any other SPCs. i don't think i want to have a look at his quick uh, in game stats as well pretty cool dynamic image there at the same time look at that 80 shooting 80 passing and 88 dribbling for me you're silly if you don't do this SPC. as far as i'm concerned it doesn't matter about his lack in pace because first of all, I can. You don't fully depend on pace. Of course, 58 pace isn't ideal for a camp, but you've got to remember how well he and the team Everton are playing at the moment. They're playing absolutely insane. He's not just going to go bad overnight. He looks, he's working very well under Angelotti at the moment. He's going to get a lot more informs. He'll have an 80, at least one more inform before Christmas. So that that's already going to be good. You're not having to put that much in at all. Four star scores. I mean, yeah, he's got a two star weak foot, but weak foot doesn't really matter that much in this game. We've seen having a having a three star weak foot and two star weak foot actually does not matter too much. Uh, his shooting stats are very you know very very solid. 94 long shots, 88 shot power. His dribbling is solid. Maybe you want to get that agility and balance up a little bit, but on the whole, um, good traits as well. That is an absolutely fantastic card. I, I recommend everyone to the SBC. Uh, certainly better value for money than you know than better value for money than Vitzel, better value for money than Fatty and all that uh, type of stuff. We still haven't been given that guarantee pack. Of course, there's the uh, the one to watch team two. There was Sane, Vidal, Havertz, and what is the card that we can actually grind towards? Hopefully, someone pretty sick. Although my game has crashed. Which is like the worst thing going possibly there. I'm trying to move like mine looks sick right now and it's not doing anything. So I think we're just gonna have to finish up the video right there. I'll quickly go on my phone action just see if we've been given anything just before I finish up the video. What a time. Like the game has only ever crashed me like twice since I've got it. So in terms of the objective player that EA have given us, and I feel like this video is so bad because I'm so used to doing the face cam nowadays as well. It uh, really annoys me when I can't do a video with a face cam. It is well, they haven't announced anything. All they've just given us is the one to watch Rodriguez SBC and then also Team 2 as well. So it looks like we actually haven't been given any objectives judging by EA's Twitter account. But anyway, guys, I will be back later on tonight with that Rodriguez player review. But uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.